hello to my fellow brothers, my fellow fathers of this country. They said I would not live to see the day that America would be freed from Britain's tyranny. Well, look who's still alive. What do you want me to say? That I'm just happy to be here? No. I am beyond that. I am blessed. I am ecstatic. Today's day we changed the course of history. Today we signed the Declaration of Independence. How does an orphan with asthma and cancer of the face overcome these troubles and learn his place? I was taught in Philly till I was 17. That's when my father passed away, and it was only me. I had seven siblings, but they could never understand why I wanted to be a politician, why I wanted to be a man. But now I'm a lawyer, I'm making something of myself. I demand to be heard. I won't sit on no shelf. I'm getting on my horse and going to Independence Hall. America's freedom is no issue to stall. They can't do this without me. They need my support. Despite my face cancer, I'm gonna take those Brits to court. The world will remember me. The guy who single-handedly signed his own name next to Richard Henry Lee just to make America free. No carnival, no game. The world will know my name. The world will know my name. What's your name, man? Caesar Rodney. My name is... What's your name? No one's ever gonna stop me, for I am Caesar Rodney. What rhymes with Caesar Rodney? I can't think of anything that works, so I'll just say, I'll just say. Who am I? I am Caesar Rodney.